Good moment world, how are y'all doing today? This is the Phoenix flying into the moment yet again to deliver peace, love, and awareness to all the great people out there. Whew, I got the sun right there. I'm really, really in the moment. At least I tried to always be in the moment. It's kind of interesting when you kind of like find like a theme or something like that, especially for that this channel, and then finding finding ways to incorporate that theme into your life every day, you know? I mean, I want to, of course, perform these experiments on myself before I deliver them to you. And uh, this is something that I've really attached myself to. So <laughs> I'm really, as far as being in the moment, I realize I'm going to just sort of condense some things now. So I want to start these vlogs here where it's just me rambling about my experiences, what I'm going through, being uh, totally, I mean, I'm always real with you guys, but just letting you know about what's been going on in my life and what inspirations I have found in the moments of my day and how that, how I can convey these messages into either these videos or through writing or through dancing or poetry, whatever it is. Like, I wanted to show you guys my process. So, I've been trying to make like some videos for a while, whatever. I tried to make one yesterday and my camera stopped like in the middle of it. I was like in the, like in like the pinnacle energy, my confidence was like, I was like, oh yeah, this feels great. And then, I'm just sitting here like, well, <laughs> but you know, honestly, it's okay because I just knew that I had fortune because that's really what I was talking about. And that really all started the whole idea, the whole word of fortune, which is ringing in my head all day yesterday. And, and I don't know, it's just, I guess the dream I had before that night was just telling me that, you know, you found your fortune, you have your fortune, you are your fortune. And it just so happened that, you know, Sorry, that was over there, but it just so happened that in that moment, you know, when I was uh, shuffling my tarot cards, and I do it mostly for personal reasons, um, for right now, because I feel like that's just the way I'm going to connect with it. I may eventually do readings for other people, but for me, it's more like a personal thing, like what can these cards teach me at this moment in time? And I actually happened to have drawn the Will of Fortune card. So it's just interesting, and I just saw how this carried out throughout the entire day, but not just with me, but with other people. Uh, shout out to my brother. I love you, Joshua. It was his birthday yesterday, so I went to go spend time with him and a lot of my family. So it was a really great time and stuff. And uh, he got a new car, so I'm like, wow, that's great fortune for him. And I was just happy to see him, um, you know, go forth and advancing and wanting to come into 2016 with vitality, with uh, positive awareness, and to know that even if you may go into some uncomfortable situations, you may be like, mm, like <laughs> it might be kind of crazy, that you can still have like this shield of positive awareness of yourself and be able to use that and uh, carry you forward. So it was great to see that in him. It was great to see that in me because I've been trying to make a video and it's unfortunately hasn't been able to go through the way I wanted to. But it's okay because I'm making this vlog and I'm in the moment, I'm in the zone and no matter what circumstances come up, you can keep going forward. So that's really what I want to talk about as far as the fortune thing. But um, the other card that I ended up drawing for today, which is a very powerful as well, which ties into this whole message that in order to see that you are the fortune that you're seeking, in order to understand that to be in tune and to be for tune or for your tune, you know, for your frequency, for your higher purpose, that's how you'll find your fortune. So in order to know that though, you have to communicate positively with yourself and with those around you. You need to communicate in a way that empowers you and the person that you are talking to. This is very, very important. And of course, with that, I ended up drawing this card today, which is the Ace of Swords. Air energy. When you think of a sword, come on, you think of something that's powerful, you're swiping, it's like... For my anime freaks, just think of like Saito, just like, or excuse me, Saito, Kirito, just like slashing through freaking monsters like it's nothing. So it's very powerful when you can realize in that moment to realize what you're saying, realize, kind of slow down and understand that, okay, I see what's going on here, have this awareness within myself and 